Lisa. Hi, everybody. Hi, Hi. everybody. Welcome back. Um, my name is Susie Dawson. I'm an activist, a journalist, and the president of the Internet Party of New Zealand. I am here for the all weekend long Unity for J hashtag Protect Julian online vigil in support of Julian Assange and WikiLeaks. Well, we've been doing an amazing job over the last few days getting that hashtag Protect Julian viral. It's trended in the United States. It's trended in Australia. Um, it's been absolutely brilliant to see all the support raised for Julian. However, there have been some very diligent people, diligent supporters of Julian live on the ground at the Ecuadorian embassy in London. And we are crossing over to them right now. First of all, I'll be speaking with Emmy Butlin, who has been arranging the vigils outside the embassy for a number of years. Hi, Emmy, welcome to the stream. Thank you very much for having me, Susie. It's lovely to see you all um, online. Trying to Fantastic. I know there's a little, there's just a little bit of background noise. So could you try to speak as loudly as possible? Emmy, tell us a bit about the history of your interest in WikiLeaks and Julian Assange. What was it that motivated you to speak out and act in support of Julian and WikiLeaks? And tell us a bit about the history of the vigil group that you've organized. For the last uh, six years. Um, is that better? Is that better? Yes, that's great. Much better. Hold that. For the last uh, six years, uh, in fact, almost seven years, 19th of June, uh, 2012, as soon as Julian Assange went uh, inside the Ecuadorian embassy seeking political asylum, um, a number of people naturally gravitated uh, around the street uh, where he, he lived. And um, gradually we got to know each other and uh, we continued to vigiling. We never expected it was going to last uh, such a long period of time. We're all drawn out, out of solidarity uh, with him for, her, for the work that he has done with WikiLeaks and also in shock, in shock at how he was treated. Um, it was all a bizarre theater uh, being played in front of our eyes. And we witnessed uh, a great number of things that uh, we can uh, bring to your people's attention. So we decided uh, after a while to uh, form a group and uh, um, we made banners and printed flyers and we, we stood there educating the public passing by uh, about uh, the reasons why he's there. Uh, obviously for the f first uh, few years, the police uh, was a constant presence. And at that time it was also uh, overt surveillance, which means that the Metropolitan Police officers in the full uniform were um, occupying various locations around the embassy. So the passers-by could see the, uh, the police and they would ask questions, they'd come to ask, why is the police there? And they would explain and hand over flyers. And uh, some of them would just uh, stay and stay and join us and uh, come back for the next uh, week and the next day and the next day. And um, so we'll be carrying on um, informing the public and also standing in solidarity with Julian Assange, who is confined in a very small space inside the embassy. Very, very difficult situation for him internationally, but continuing with, with his work. And we've had, uh, over these past years, tremendous releases published by WikiLeaks that have ed educated the world. Um, now, the last uh, year, the situation has um, become a lot more severe for, for him internally because of course with the change of government government in ecuador he has lost a lot of the political support that he was um that existed there supporting his political asylum and the new government of ecuador uh, lenin moreno is um uh, straight away the moment he took uh, power uh, started uh, differentiating his approach and um he's been um, turning this uh, political asylum and the refuge that julian had into a, a a police, a police uh, cell. Uh, we were extremely concerned, particularly recently, with the latest reports made by WikiLeaks that um, his expulsion from the embassy is imminent. So we've come here yesterday in great numbers to um, support Julian Assange, and we continue today. Uh, we don't have uh, massive numbers, but we do have a presence here, and we witness, and we raise the alarm. And we're here speaking to the press, speaking to the passersby again about the situation. Um, yesterday we had a number of people that came to support, We're starting from the morning, from the night before, as soon as we heard people gravitated naturally, individuals coming from all corners to, to come and see what's going on and how they can assist um, and raise the alarm and uh, also show uh, that he has support. And indeed, uh, all these years that we, we have been sitting um, outside the um, embassy, the passers-by are very clearly 
um, on his side. The public is on his side. You may not see that reflected in the newspapers and the news reports, but uh, people's hearts are with Julian Assange. They understand it's one of them, it's one of us. And that's how we continue. I have met um, a tremendous number of wonderful people that uh, we stand together in, in this journey and we continue our support for Julian. Um, today, we've come back again and uh, during the day, there'll be constant presence here. Uh, we have been joined by the Socialist Equality Party with uh, several members and reporters from the WSWS. Uh, we're very, very grateful for their support um, that's becoming more and more prominent. And it's the only uh, political organization that has stood um, by our vision in all the years that we have been here. So we're particularly grateful for that. But of course, they're not the only ones. People from all walks and all political beliefs have joined us. So we're very grateful for you know amplifying our voice through these vigils, um, uh, yourself, um, Susie, and, and everyone else with Unity for Jane. I'm very grateful. So I would like to hand over now to um, uh, Gordon. Jimmy, can I just ask you? Can I ask you a couple of questions? Certainly. Thank you. Um, first of all, I just want to make a comment, and that's that I saw some. I have no idea who it was. But yesterday, somebody raised a massive Unity for Jay banner right outside the embassy in front of all of the press. That's right. That yes, was sir. amazing. Yes, uh, you will find him in in uh, in, um, in Twitter. Truman, um, what is his account account number? Is something uh, Truman? True Truman. He is actually a, a musician as well. He's done. Um, uh, his own compilation about uh, Julian Assange. He's a supporter. He lives, I think, in Kent. I haven't seen him, unfortunately. I guess uh, he came and joined in the evening and returned back home. Um, yeah, it was wonderful to see. He has made this am amazing, massive Unity for Jay banner. So, yes, you're right. It made my day. It really did to see it. It was great. Now, I wanted to just ask you two more questions. Uh, one is, how, can you talk about, have you seen an increase in public support for Julian over the last six months? I know with the uh, German MPs and the members of the European Parliament and amongst others. Um, and secondarily, how are you feeling now by comparison to yesterday? Because we've heard now the Ecuadorian embassy has backed down and they're saying, no, they're definitely not going to expel Julian. So if you, if you could speak to those two points. Uh, I'll go first to your last question. Their intention is clear, Susie. The emergency might have been uh, averted, the worst might have been averted momentarily, but this expulsion is on the agenda. The deal has been done with the US and the UK. So all it remains, all it stands between uh, Julian Assange's expulsion and his relative safety inside the embassy is the public. And it's the truth of the matter. It is the very truth of the matter. So I do encourage everyone, it doesn't have to be huge numbers, but please come. Um, live stream is very important, raising the alarm. They cannot get away with this. We have to do what we can, to stand here in solidarity. Then to go back to the other um, question. Yes, indeed, uh, people are becoming more and more aware. And uh, the whole situation is becoming more evident because it has become um, obvious that uh, this is a highly politicized case. His human rights have been trampled on. And a very, very cynical and barbaric political game is being unfolded in front of our eyes. Uh, they cannot hide with hypocrisy. They cannot hide behind uh, legalistic due processes <laughs> anymore. It's blatantly obvious what's going on. Every thinking person can, can see it for themselves. People, people's hearts are with Julian Assange. And I have... Um, something I'd like to say that um, several weeks um, now here in London there have been protests going on about pro-Brexit and anti-Brexit and I have attended both camps of doing flyers for Julian Assange at Parliament Square and I must tell you support exists in both camps both left and right um, it is a human rights issue it's a free speech issue um, of course, in both camps, you will also find people who do not agree with WikiLeaks publications for this reason or that reason, or perhaps the personality of Julian Assange does not appeal to them, or they fall for propaganda. But overwhelmingly, people's hearts are with Julian Assange WikiLeaks, and across generations, not just the young people, the older generations too. Um, 
this is a, a story that captures people's hearts, captures people's imaginations, inspires them to support. Uh, of course, the politic, the political parties are in China way, the institutions are in China way, because let's face it, WikiLeaks focuses on the power of institutions, whether it is government or commercial, and throws light in their dirty deeds. And they are scared, scared about that, scared about losing control. So we have to have it very clear the support is there down the street. Um, and uh, we need to harness it, and encourage it, and open it up for more and more people to speak publicly about it. Completely agree okay? with you. And how, yeah, absolutely. So I totally, I agree with you that the public at large supports WikiLeaks and Julian. When George Galloway did a special event recently about that, he got out on the streets and interviewed the men on the streets, the passers-by. What do you think about Julian? What do you think about WikiLeaks? And they were overwhelmingly in support of Julian and WikiLeaks. And when you consider that the public has been taught to, told, instructed almost, to hate Julian and to loathe Julian, the fact that people are so resilient as to be able to uh, set that aside and to objectively see for themselves, they understand inherently that he is being prosecuted, persecuted for challenging power. People understand that at an innate level and, and they sympathize with it. So I totally agree with you there. Um, so I we, would like to, oh, sorry, go ahead. So the campaigning goes on and the, um, how a lot of avenues uh, are open to us. Not everybody can be here out in the street campaigning. Um, you can write to your MPs. This is a campaign we are putting forward. Um, everybody can exercise their democratic rights. And this is a way of alerting people that we elect in Parliament here in the UK of our views. <laughs> and uh, so one of the flyers we distribute is encouraging people. And if you be, I'd be very, very grateful if you um, publicize the campaign because that can have a tremendous effect in uh, his uh, well-being and his future. Do not forget, there are only 650 members of parliament. All you need is 650 constituents around the country to write a letter. It's not a huge uh, undertaking. Let's do it. Let's do it. But they need to know that people care um, and that they'll be held accountable. So um, this is where we are now. Absolutely. I have next to me um, um, Gordon Dimmer, which I'm very happy to introduce. And uh, further, I'd like to introduce uh, Chris uh, Marsden from the Social Equality Party, who him and his group has joined us this morning. So goodbye Fantastic. from me. Thank you very much, Susie, and who is uh, making this possible. Thank you. Thank Gordon. you, Emmy, for your incredible work. Thank you so much. Isn't it wonderful?